Hey guys, welcome to another part of Fur Fazu's Revenge. This is Beaver Dam. And it is a long level. The majority of. Well, almost all of these were pretty much long levels. Um, I feel there was like one level where it wasn't a part 2 involved. And yes, this is going to have a point 0.5 part, part 2. So, prepare yourselves, because this. This level has a lot of shit. First of all, there's a lot of enemies around, and there is this Juliet portal here. We will need this to get over past here, past his claw marks. So over there is an elevator that we need to take to get up. There's another way to get up, but I'll show you that a little bit while. There's also these tokens over here. We can't get them from over there. So just take a drop and uh, go to the store in which you'll find some enemies. Kill them, and you'll find tokens and a button. These are our first two tokens, and that button will activate something. What will activate? It'll activate these animations, and it will also activate the elevator. Because I think it does. It's activated. Just kill the enemy and go all the way up. Take a drop down here for some more tokens and some ammo. As you can see, there's a lot to find. I thought there were ammo. No, there wasn't any ammo here. I'm thinking of another side, which is the other roof, which uh, I don't think there's any point to go on there except for ammo and health, so let's not. Anyway, here's the uh, ship from the intro of the, uh, the hub, as you remember very well. But there is a token above the elevator that we need to climb up on by climbing up here. So we can't just, you know, go on the elevator thing and then just shoot the thing or climb up from that side. We have to legit climb up all the way manually like this. So yeah, a bit annoying and it'll take a bit of time, but luckily jump climbing makes things a little faster. And there it is. So now that we have the first 10 tokens collected, let's get rid of some of these enemies, including this one over here, which I will kill with a rocket. There goes its head. Alright, first baby to get is Frensois. Hopefully I'm saying it right. There is a button here to unlock the door. The way to unlock it is to shoot out the window here. And the button is right there. There we go. So, we have now opened the door to save Francois. So that's neat. Uh, there's nothing else around here, so let's continue on. Over here is a room of some enemies and health, which we're gonna need after this because I don't play very well in this game, sadly. I have not perfect, but there is a token here and some ammo here, like that thing. Do I know what that thing is? It's not the uh, energy, so I don't know what's going on there, but we'll find out what it's for later on. Right now, though, let's just focus on this shit. In this shit, we have about one enemy around. Should be around here somewhere. Probably up. Yep, there he is. Awesome tokens around here, and there is a bungalow teleporter that we definitely need because, well, there's some spots here that we're going to be looking for. There's the bungalow. Let's not worry about that right now. Instead, go up here, and we'll find this. You can threaten us all you want, you stupid bears. I'm telling you, we don't have any honey. I should try and help those little creatures. Yes, we should. But how? I mean, the door's not opening for us, like it always does. Ah, don't worry about it right now. Let's just... Just check out this little area here. There's nothing here. The doors don't open. Except you know, maybe that one if we can figure out how. 
And there's nothing else to explore here, so let's go back. Back down here, we will need the bungalow teleporter because what did I need it for an area? There is an area that is very important for him. So let's go. It's not the area, but this is where we can find Tweaks Baby. Who is right over there. Also the audio kind of acts weird in these recordings, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on there. This this is not perfect. There's gonna be some minor glitches because the bat the disc is a little scratched and dirty. So I apologize. But hey, it works perfectly otherwise, so good enough. And well, let's exit this area because there's no point to being here anymore right now. Right now we should be going to this other opening but where we were before. Right over here. Over here is some enemies and a lot of water for the dam, basically. For the dam. Awesome tokens and a baby at the very back over there. However, the baby is for Juliet, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. Right now, we should be going up here because Mungle does not swim. We have not found Rico yet. There's some enemies here that are just waiting to shoot us down. Over here are some tokens, some buns, and all the good stuff. Now, we activated something. As you can see, the light went on. And you can see there's a thing up there. We can't get up there. Bungalow can't jump high enough. But yeah, what's the point of Bungalow? Does he have a point? Well, no. The whole point of Bungalow was basically just... Why not? I have no idea why Bungalow is there, to be honest. He has no purpose to be there. But right now... There are some things we can deal with here. For instance, there's this thing here, a machine. If we touch these things here, they'll go down. I guess he's to keep the um, machine straight. So it's obvious it needs to be activated. And it's obvious it needs to be activated to start this uh, machine. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what exactly we're trying to accomplish here. But I do know there's a Rika teleporter here that we need, so if we press this button, it starts for a bit then stops. Well, there is a button over here that we need to press right now, so just one shot it. Like that. Sand will be shoveled, it will go all the way into the little uh, machine over there. It will compact, go to the other side to where the tube is. Then we can press the button and it will actually activate and stay activated. So as you can see it's growing and that is perfect because now we can activate this. Let's turn to Rico because we need him definitely and that is not bullshit. Because we need him for the underwater area. Also, there is this cliff here to get onto the roof. It will do a lot of damage, but I don't know why you want to go down there outside of some health. Like, I don't, I don't really know what you'd want over there. There's no point going down. Let's not worry about it. There is some water down here, though, and there is some tokens down here as well as the final button that we need to press. First, uh, let's focus on the tokens, which these three will take us to 25. And if we swim all the way back here, because the current is going to push us back there anyway, we will find two more tokens, as well as some ammo. I think it's two more tokens, or is it free? Nope, it's free. Alright. Instead of making you watch me go all the way back over there, I'm going to jump cut so you don't have to wait for me to get all the way back over there. Like so. Now we press this button, and we can continue forward. So, let us go back to that spot over there. We know that that's a Juliet baby over there, so we need to be Juliet, right? Well first, let's activate this and get a little animation going.
neat. Okay, so let's meet Juliet now and get this baby. The baby's name is Lauren. Hopefully I'm saying that right, because that is a normal name for me to say. So there's Lauren, and Lauren is saved. There we go. Now, let's look at the other baby that was at the very back of this area over here. That baby is called Vincent. And we shall now save Vincent. And then we can jump cut to an area we should give a shit about. Let's jump, let's jump cut back to Rico. And then go back on the water because as you can see, there is a pipe here and that will lead to an area we need to be in. So, jump cut. All right, let's go in. So this was the current will stop here, luckily, and all we have to do is go all the way down here. We'll find some tokens, and we'll also find a new weapon. This weapon, it, it's not very useful. It's right over there, as you can tell. It's like a weird boxed thing. There's some tokens around here too, but the weapon is the Seeker Launcher. It basically seeks enemies and tries to blow them up and it's not very good because it usually falls. It doesn't really seek well. There's also this enemy type that is very annoying and more annoying than the alligators that can also swim underwater and can deal a lot of damage. It can be very annoying. These fuckers. I don't know what they are. I, I really don't. It looks fucking weird. I guess you can say they're lobsters, I don't fucking know, but they're weird, and they're annoying, and they do a lot of damage, and they're assholes. My advice is to kill them immediately, because they will be endless hell for you. So, first of all, we need to get rid of the water, because we can't shoot underwater, as you know, we can't even attack with our fists. Which makes no sense, really, but whatever. So there's a button over here. Let's activate it. Alright. These fuckers have shotguns, which they shoot at us a lot, so let's kill them immediately. Alright. Now, there's a box here. But first of all, we need to check out the Seeker Missile thing. There's some health there as well. That's nice. Thank you, game. So, Seeker Missile. Looks like this. It also has a bit of a different crosshair. Not really, but... It's... It's definitely not very useful. I would not recommend using it, because... It's not very good. I would recommend just using the normal rocket if you want to use rockets. I mean, if you seriously can't aim that good, then you suck at this game. By the way, we just saved Isabella. There's also some health here, but outside of that, there's nothing else here for us, so we're done with this little area. We can now leave and jump cut to an area that actually matters, so let's do that right now. Okay, so let's go down here and take a lot of damage. As you can see, that took a lot. I can hear an enemy. Where'd you come from? Where, where'd he come Fuck it. We don't have to come back here anymore anyway, so let's not worry about how he got here. But here's some ammo here. We'll take it. And now jump cut. Okay, so we're back here. Here's how you get inside. You touch the door. And you get swung the fuck away. And there's alligators. This is the only time I know of in which that will literally happen. You can open doors, but they don't do that. That's the only time a game at the game actually does that with the doors. And I go inside, kill the bears, and a little animation will play. Thank you, Fur Fighter. Now we can get Beaver Turbine Building Number One running again. All right, turbine. 
Hooray, tokens! Hooray, hidden beetle shields! Not really hidden, but beetle shield hooray. So we'll take that, because we're gonna need it. And we need him, Tweak. Because Tweak is very needed for one baby. That baby we need to in order to continue on. So let us jump cut to that baby, because there's nothing else in this area, and we're done here. Jump cut. Okay, so over here is the baby called Fweek. And basically, there's a lot of electricity going on in the water. And we have this fucker. Uh, basically, the secret missile is sucking here. We can't. We don't want to use this here. We can't aim, and I'm gonna die. Fuck. Okay, let's try this again. So, what we have to do is shoot at its eyes, and we have to do a lot of shots to it in order to kill it. It is annoying though because you have to move around because it will shoot at you, even though when you shoot at it, it will start fucking up. And plus, the floor is pretty much made of electricity and water and such, so, you know, that'll be annoying. And I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, fuck! Damn it! No, I don't wanna go to hub! Okay. Okay. Let's just try this again. Just have to shoot him down, go over here. Maybe, maybe the running. Maybe the running gun method will work. Maybe the running gun method will be. Oh, fuck! Let's try this again. Run and gun method. We can do this. Okay, go over there now. Okay, it'll take a little bit of damage, but luckily we will survive this, maybe. Maybe if I shoot him down before he starts shooting, I can I can screw him over. Get the health, get the health, okay. Okay. Okay, got him. Okay, maybe that'll stop him. Wait, what? What? Oh fuck you game! Fuck you! Come on! Up! Oh, no, damn it! You know what? Fuck it. Running gun did not work. Yes, I know. I know that. You're so helpful. Anyway, the only method I can really think of that is the best method is hide behind these things and shoot at him when he stops shooting. Because why would you try to run and gun like I did? Why would you try to be a badass when it's obvious this fucker is going to be unfair and do this? It's also very hard to uh, dodge these shots, so uh, yeah, hiding and gunning, that, that's the best method. I don't know why you would try any other method unless you are just really, really stupid. Okay, let's just keep trying to do this until he's dead. Should be pretty much done soon. Have to keep shooting at him and he'll be done. Ugh. I am almost dead. This is not good. I don't see him. Okay, I do see health. I'll take on that health soon. One more shot should do it. And... Hooray! He's dead! Okay, we're done with that asshole. We can move on to easier and better times. Let us go and get some ammo and some health because we desperately fucking need it. Also, he will continue to move around even though he is dead. It is weird. Let us not worry about that right now. Let us worry about the fact that we should be going to the next and new area that is not here. So we're done here is in here. There is a Rufus teleporter or, and a um, Juliet teleporter here, as well as some ammo, some tokens, and some more asshole enemies, basically. Not these guys. These guys have no problem. Like, just shoot them down. I mean the peacocks. There is quite a number of peacocks. They're inside the elevator. You can also hear alligators inside the elevator. It's 
It's a bit of a clusterfuck of assholery, and uh, it's annoying, and uh, the best method to get rid of them is to kill them off something strong, and very area damaging. You also can't get up there, so, uh, yeah, here's what we're supposed to do to get through this. We we'll use rockets, because it's a smart. And... Fire! Oh, fuck me. We did not kill him. We did not kill him. Not the fucking secret piece of shit. Fuck it. And of course grenades don't do shit. Fuck it. Shotgun them. That will do. Okay, let's go on the elevator and move up as Rufus. Because Juliet is not really useful here. Okay. Hopefully there won't be any more surprises over here. Son of a bitch! Alright, so some alligators over here to my sides. But no problem right now, unless we go down, which we won't. There's some health here. There's some more assholes here. Basically, kill them. Kill every single one of these enemies, and they will die. And this gas does indeed hurt. In case you're wondering, but because of the way it's like, it's not going to be possible for me to hurt them with it. Anyway, there's some more alligators over here, as well as some tokens, so we do have to go down here. But we should get rid of these guys first. And I'm going to be an idiot and try to kill them with grenades, because I really want to give grenades a chance. A bigger chance than rockets, because rockets are not doing us a really big favor right now. I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he's dead. Let us, let us just make sure. Yep, he's dead. Let us go down. Alright, there's a token. That's 50. We're halfway done with tokens. We're halfway done with babies. We are halfway done with this level. Thank fuck for that. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Where'd you come from? Fuck, I'm killing you. Die, thank you. Alright, alright. So, there's another alligator over here, as well as a teleporter for Bungalow that we need right now. Like, this time, Bungalow is needed. And this is actually a teleporter worth using for Bungalow. And he is dead. Thank fuck for that. So, we should turn to Bungalow right now. Why we need bungalow? Well, simply put, there's an elevator with a gap. And that elevator is it's this one. The gap, we should be jumping up through, like right there, when it goes down, which I fucked up. That's nothing to worry about, though, because we need to go down here anyway, as we need to get up here for these tokens. There are a few tokens, but we need to be across the wall and not fall down. And of course I fall. Okay. So let's just continue on forward. Here's the last two tokens. One and two. There's only five tokens here. There's also some tokens here that we almost missed. That are just beside the door from the very beginning. Right there. Now jump cut back to the elevator. Because we need to. Right, so jump. Right now. Got it. And as you can see, there was some tokens over there in that little room there. As well as the fact that there's a ladder here. Now, we'll just activate the button by shooting at it from here. By one shot. And we're not going for it now because we'll get crushed if we try. We'll be going inside when we go down, like so. And there we go. Only two tokens. And there's a ladder here. But the ladder doesn't lead to anywhere really important. It's the ladder's really useful for when the elevator is up and you need to get back up. That's about it. There's no other importance for it. Outside of that is a dead end roof up here, and then we should just drop down and you know just get on the left. No, too far, too far. Fuck. Okay, so let's shoot down the elevator, going up all the way, and let's get off it. 
There's a token here, some health. That's sexy tokens. We're done with the elevator. No more elevator. We will now jump cut back to that area of the pipes and the alligators and shit. So let's go. Okay, so back here. We need to go left here right now because this area is important. It will lead us to where the exit will be. Even though we don't want to go to the exit yet, I might as well show you it. So here's some tokens. Here's an area that we have to traverse through. First of all, we need to get ourselves under the water and across the thing. So, go across the thing. Next, we need to climb up these things. So, let's climb up from here and get these tokens. Easy to do. That's two. Alright, next thing, we have to climb up all the way up there and then make a jump over to across. Easier said than done. Because we can fuck this up and fall. But I got my first try, so it sucks to be you. There's a button here that will drain the water. We will do that right now. There's tokens there, so we'll need them. So why not? Okay, so over here, there's some tokens. More tokens. And more water. Hmm. There's a teleporter over there. We can't get that teleporter because we're not. Rico, we're bungalow, so yeah, we we'll might as well forget about that. It is tweaks. I don't think we need that right now. Uh, there's some tokens down there too, so we definitely need Rico. We're about to drown. No, we're not. Okay, so here is the final area. Well, the second to last final area, basically. Uh, we should get out of the water right now, because I think Spanish could... Yeah, yeah, they're going to start falling in the water. We should leave. And we should turn around and shoot them down, because that's fun. There we go. Okay, so some more enemies over here as well. Some more tokens. We're going to need the tokens. We're going to need to kill the enemies. We're going to need to make a lot of progress. There's also a claw. And a thing. I wonder what the thing does. I'm sure the thing is useful. But let's not worry about the thing right now because we're doing about the thing next part. We're doing a lot of things next part. Including dealing with this area because we're just here to get some tokens. And then we'll end the part here in two minutes. So, come up here, come up the ladder, get up here, come on, climb faster, get the other token, climb up here, climb faster, damn it, get tokens, kill enemy, there we go, stop fucking dodging my shots, there is Rico, we will not walk bottom with Rico right now, just kidding, we will right now because we need to go and get Tweak and the tokens that are underwater because there are some tokens underwater. Right now, though, we should jump onto the ship by doing this. Just. Mm, got it. You will probably fuck that up and fall down and have to come back up all the way again. I would suggest you get Bungalow to take the jump. Like, really. There's an engine here. Pretty sure it's important. Let us go and take a dive in the water because there are some tokens down here. And dive. Okay. So, two tokens over here. And back at that tube where Tweak is, there are two more tokens over there. You will turn to Tweak, we'll get those two tokens. And we will end the part there. Next time, on point five, we'll deal with this area and the other area that we missed as well as anything else we missed because I'm sure we missed some things and we need to go back and get them to 100% this level and never play it again. So for now, here's the tokens, there's Tweak, we changed the Tweak right now, there's some health as well, we don't need the health. I have to thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in point five.